Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run, well we're going to be having a look at this. Now this is one of those Ozkita cordless nail and staple two-in-one uh, device and basically this is one of the skinless range and I've got this recently for another job I'm doing around the house and these are pretty reasonable price actually. So basically what I want to do like all my videos is do an unboxing and then I'll give you a quick demonstration of it. So anyway, let's get in the box and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing is basically the user guide and warranty, and it's always handy that they give you these instead of making you download them. So basically that's the first thing out of the box. Next is this little white box here, and if I open this up and empty it out, you can see basically what it is, is samples of the nails and staples. So you basically get some samples to play around with, and then of course you're gonna to have to buy more when you're doing an actual job, but at least they give you some to just uh, you know practice with the unit. So you've got a few bits and pieces. So they're also included in the box. Okay, so finally we've got the actual unit itself, and as you can see, it's um, not particularly big. Now, going around the unit, you've got this back here, which is basically how much pressure you want to put down when you're putting nails or staples in, so you can adjust the gauge, basically. You've got this little thing here, which is for hooking on your belt or tool, uh, tool bag sort of thing, so you can carry it around your waist, which is quite handy. Um, on this side, you've got an Allen key, and that's so you can take that off or also tighten any nuts around the place if they start getting loose so that's quite good they've actually given you the right size allen key um, and then on this bottom bit here is the release for the loading mechanism this is your trigger for firing and you've also got a little led light here on the front so that when you're putting it down it will light up so that's really handy so when you push this like so this slides down and then when you want to load say these nails here you put them just in like so and slide them to the top but if you want to load say staples like this if you want to put staples in you basically make sure they're flush to that side there on this side not this side and that's how you load your staples so your staples go flush to this side nails just go in like so so next when you shut this like this it will click into place like so so it's pretty much armed and loaded and next I need to put a battery on and then I can show you how well it operates and how loud it is. Now one neat feature is when it is loaded like this, it now becomes quite spring loaded. So basically if I push this, it'll spring open and allow me to get the nails out. So that uh, it's kind of a safety feature so that the fact that you, it won't slide down and it pulls them out. So that's pretty neat. So anyway, let's go um, test this nail and staple gun out on a bit of wood and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end of this video. Okay, so we've now um, got a bit of wood here and I'm just going to test it out and also give you an idea of how loud it is. So you push down, you've got a little light which is pretty cool and then it just goes whack like that. So at the moment I'm just trying out the nails. And as you can see they're all in pretty good and it's holding that really well so I think it's pretty neat so what I'll do next is I'll just try it with the staples so next we're going to put the staples in and basically they just go like so to the far side and then it should lock in like that so we've got it locked in now so now we're just going to take it over again and test it out and we'll try the staples out. and they go in great As you can see the staples are in really nice so it's a really really good tool well there you go there's my quick look unboxing and review of this Ozkita staple and nail gun and overall i think this is awesome and if you've got small jobs or if you're making picture frames or if you're building something small like a cupboard or a cabinet this will be perfect for it it's not expensive and it's pretty well um, does the job what I wanted. So in, in my case, I can definitely recommend it. And if other people are looking for that sort of thing, I think it will be fine with them too. Anyway, I'm Justin. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.